biggest red flag a woman has ever said to you? Words. Verbally. I watch your content religiously. <laughs> really? <laughs> no. But, I mean, I, I would not hook up with someone if they were a fan. So. Okay. Like, okay. I have, and it's not good. It's not a good idea. Why? Because then she's, like, obsessed. Because, like, that person knows you. You know what I mean? Like, that, that person knows everything about you. They might even have, like, they might even have feelings for you, and you don't know anything about them. It's just, like, very no, weird. No, I understand why it's weird. But, like, yeah. why was that situation in particular weird? Did she, was she, like, crazy? Oh, yeah. I think it just, like, it, the situation lends itself to that. Yeah. You know? Don't talk to people who know you. Yeah, it's just, like, yeah, I don't know. Okay, but what's the... Can you think of... My point is that? just lie to me and say you're not a fan. Actually, someone has done that in the past. Um, don't do that. Uh, okay. What? Has somebody said something that you can remember that you were like... Oh. That's a red flag? Yeah. Um, I mean, the biggest red flag for me is if like someone is almost abusive or mistreats uh, someone service. working in the service industry. Ah, so yeah, it's like the most... That's the easiest, most gigantic red flag. Anyone that fucking does that is over. Like, it, it's a wrap. No shot. Like, absolutely not. That's a good one. Um, what about you? You can't steal mine. When I was in college, I had a guy on a blind date tell me that he had a sex playlist and that it was 18 hours long. That was a little bit of a yikes. Ew. Recently, okay. though, you'll love this one. Okay, this is unfair because women get, like, literally... All the gross you know what's crazy? shit for men. He played it when he was on Ox in my car because he could not drive. I had to drive him to our date. And he said that. In the anyway, recently, you'll love this one. Very recently. Um, it was in Austin and we were downtown. And I gave, uh, I bought home, I bought food for um, a homeless guy. Uh -huh. And the homeless guy got like really weird and touchy and like grabbed my arm and whatever. Um, and I was like, Sorry, like, didn't mean to get us in that situation. And he goes, it's fine. The free market will always regulate itself. No! I On my life, on my life, Hassan, I sent that quote, because I didn't even know how to process it. I took the quote, and I sent it to someone in Discord, and I was like, don't worry about this now. I want to talk about this tomorrow. Just so I didn't forget exactly what he said. The Uber ride home, that silence. That is awesome. The Uber ride home, silence. How do you even, like... I mean, that's, like, so bad that it almost looks bad on you that you didn't even recognize that this dude was going to pop off like that no idea like how how like was he hot like what the happened guy i was seeing yeah yes so he was like so hot that you were like there's no shot this dude's like a fucking weird i bet he has a crypto portfolio does he have a crypto portfolio not that i know of he didn't tell you then he probably doesn't because those dudes will always tell you okay no um, I didn't. Why would I expect him? To, why would I expect anybody to say that? Ryan's, Rise and Grind set Andy's have, have broken uh, the brains of like entire generations at this point. I mean, it's like, said, yeah. hate that. Victim blaming? No, no. I'm just saying, like, like there's got to be some. Chat. I think she meant the. Di Wait, sorry. Was that not clear? The guy I was dating said that about the homeless guy. The homeless guy didn't say that. I thought that was clear. Sorry. Um. <laughs> the homeless guy. Yeah. Why would he say that? The homeless guy was like. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. <laughs> I'm so a lot of people. Oh, I'm sorry. Will, the free market will regulate itself. No, it's because I have a the worst chat of all time. You know, like the thing that everybody hates on the internet, like of just reading something in the least charitable way possible, mm -hmm. exclusively to make like a moralizing sa statement around it, and it's like you never even implied it. That's basically like what fifty percent of my chat does as an Olympic sport. Mm -hmm. Like, it's their only fucking content is just doing that over yes. and over again and thinking that that's a good substitute for a personality. You're great at what you do. Keep it up. Are you telling them that? Yeah, they're great at what you do. They're telling me that. No, them. Well, anyway. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's, that's the most recent. It was, it was a, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a, whoa. A bit of a whoa. Yeah, that is that is weird. Yeah. Let me think of other red flags. Uh, Substance abuse. That's a red flag. Hate that one. I mean, that one is that's a whole can of fucking worms. What do you mean yeah. substance? You went on a date and someone was like literally fucking what? Like, here you want some heroin? Like what? What the fuck? No, it's just like I've dated people that just abuse. Not like went on a date. Like I've dated people that just abuse substances. Leaked. Maya dated Jordan Peterson. Who's that? Um, 
founder of modern psychology and a male father figure to all. Is he the guy that makes the movies? Waiting for his soul.